Well, we're starting with toxic matter that's generated where? In the cells. In the cells, and even before that, in bacteria. In bacteria, and Cause they're Because like a cell is like Earth compared to an ant. When you compare a cell to a bacteria. Wait, say that again? How big is an ant compared to the Earth? Very tiny, small. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Well, that's how big a bacteria is compared to a to cell. Okay. I mean, we're talking about really small things. And so the bacteria so they're poop. are making all these poops, and where are they? They're everywhere. Everywhere? They're on everything. They're everywhere. So they're inside our bodies? Fuck yes. <laughs> Just saying. Are they Half in... your poop every day is bacteria. Are they in the extracellular fluids? Sure. They're everywhere. Everywhere. They're in your blood, they're in your lymph, they're in your extracellular fluids, they're probably oh, in every true? cell of your body, they're on your skin, they're in your skin, they're in your mouth, they're on your plate, they're all over this water bottle. Look at them, look at them, they're everywhere in there, running around. <laughs> Microbes produce waste, the cells produce waste. So there's all this crap. The, the waste is pumped out of the body, or out of the cells. Yeah. Where does it go when it's pumped out of the cells? Into that fluid? Into, Into that lip? extracellular fluid, which, which according to Frederick, every cell is completely surrounded in a bath of extracellular fluid. They're all free floating, essentially. Except there were some structures that one of you two guys talked about that said it helped one cell connect to another cell by some structures, microtubules or things Cell like that. Cell junctions? Who knows? Some little thing that we just gained appreciation for. I'm only playing, but... Every cell is surrounded by extracellular fluid. Even when the cells are backed up to each other, there's space between your teeth, isn't there? Even though there's one right next to the other. There's still, you can slip a little floss down there which might as well be the Grand Canyon compared to a bacteria. Okay. You want to go show her how it's done? I can't sing so high. Okay, so the waste gets pumped out of the cells into the extracellular fluid. And, and from the extracellular fluid, it's picked up by the... Lymphatic vessels. Picked up by the lymphatic system. And then, Taking. now we're getting to the interesting part. Yes. It's got a bunch of crap in the lymphatic system. Uh -huh. The vessels? Which is a one-way system that starts at your fingers and toes and ends at the left thoracic duct. Except along the way, there are way stations. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. Full of bacteria. And filters of all types, chemical and physical and everything, monitoring stations, checkpoints. Show us your papers, <laughs> says the lymph gland to the, your health pass? to the toxic matter. You cannot pass. <laughs> Until you get broken down. For you can't pass at all and your lymph gland swells up. It says no pass. Oh. Ever had a lymph gland swell up? But eventually they get past the chain of lymph glands. Or the chain of lymph glands. Or the chain of lymph glands that says, legs is far enough. You came from toes. You get to here. You don't get to enter the body until you get past this whole chain of lymph glands. Not just... You can't sneak into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And then eventually to the bloodstream. But by the time it gets to the bloodstream, the lymph has already determined that it's okay to get there. So it's not as toxic? It's amazing. Something's happened. There's a lot of there's a lot of papers been checked. I went to the airport one time in Costa Rica and they checked my passport five times. Five different stations. Right, like to get into security and then, no, to, to check in and then to get through to go to security. And then at security, they actually looked at it again. 
This is weird. This is right after 911. And then when I got to the gate, they checked it again when I went to sign in. And then before I boarded, they checked it again. Five different individuals checked my passport. I, I said to the fifth one, I said, did you know there are four other checkpoints for this passport? Like, your colleagues already checked me four times. Do you really have that little confidence in them? Nice. <laughs> nice. Like, nobody trusts nobody, apparently. So, I just thought it was... Does that help? A little bit. What was the question? Well, I guess just because it sounds like the toxic waste products, I mean, I don't know the constituents of them and what, <laughs> what like, you know, is it, I mean, waste products seem like they would be acidic in nature, but maybe they're not. Not all, so but a how lot. how does that just dump into the blood system? Because the blood system is so delicate in terms of how it has to maintain homeostasis of its particular pH. So I just didn't understand how waste dump products acid. get dumped in. Yeah. But I hear what you're saying. If it goes to the lymph nodes... It's been through a fair amount of... Changes to a more neutral substance. Do you know what a buffer is? I know of a buffer. So what, why don't you it? tell me tomorrow what a buffer is? Maybe even give me an example of one that we might find in the blood. Like calcium? Oh. Maybe. Calcium is more of a neutralizing agent. Oh, okay. Or an alkalizing agent. Um, let's, look at, let's look at actual buff. Buffers are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it's the other system. Bicarbonate. That's what I was yeah. Find in my head. Yeah, exactly. So is that a good start? Cool. I'm just taking a look. Maybe.